The Dunedin Physio Pool is in danger of closing its doors forever. We all need to support this invaluable rehab and recreational facility and save the pool. Built in 1946, the Physio Pool was instrumental in establishing new standards in hydrotherapy. It was the first purpose-built pool in New Zealand to assist with rehabilitation. Designed by architects Mason and Wales, the building now has a Heritage New Zealand Category 2 listing. The pool now provides a much needed mental and physical lifeline to many of the 36,000 users each year. The pool offers easy access with its central location, convenient parking and a ramp to the main door. Poolside changing rooms are important for many users as there are no issues with getting cold while moving to and from the pool. Specially equipped changing rooms with larger showers are also available for those with physical disabilities. The purpose-designed ceiling-mounted hoist provides users with easy access to the pool from a bed or wheelchair. The Otago Therapeutic Pool Trust was established in 1983 to maintain the pool for therapeutic purposes by patients from hospitals in Otago and provide access for the general public. The Trust's main role has been to operate public sessions and provide qualified lifeguards, maintain facilities and cleaning. The Southern District Health Board decided to withdraw any further funding of operational costs and upgrades from the end of 2014. As a consequence, the Trust now needs to find the funds to cover operating costs as well as secure funding for future maintenance and upgrades. Thanks to a grant from the Bendigo Valley Sports and Charity Foundation, the pool has been allowed to remain open while the Trust carries out due diligence and fundraising. The funding target is $1.5 million for capital upgrades and operational funding, which will cover the pool for at least the next 10 years. If the pool were to close, I wouldn't be able to use the other pools in Dunedin for a lot of my clients. Um, therefore, the rehabilitation would be severely restricted. As a group, we see over two to 3,000 people a year at the physio pool to keep them out of the health system, get them healthy again, help them get back to work in a timely manner. Without the physio pool, I'm not sure what the impact would be, but it would certainly add up pretty quickly. If the pool were to close, I, I don't know what we would do. It's, it's the one day of the week when Hannah can exercise yes. freely, um, safely. Independently. She's independent. Mm -hmm. And if they close it, what are we going to do? We're going to be Yeah, we need, we, need, we need, I need, I need to use the pool um, on a regular basis. It's too far to go to Invercargill. <laughs> it's a bit far, yeah. Mm. Which is the nearest one. If the physio pool closed, I really just don't know what we would do. It's such a unique facility with, that provides everything for our, our children with special needs to be able to develop and, and grow. So where would we go from there? There's, there's just nothing out there for them. Please help save our physio pool, a critical rehabilitation facility and an enduring feature of New Zealand physiotherapy history.